Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5 starts now. And we begin here at 5 with Detroit police taking new steps to prevent officer shootings, and it's going well beyond new body cameras. DPD leadership is hoping for new so-called less lethal weapons to end tense situations without it costing a life. So these include pepper ball launchers, projectile launchers to give the force new tools that don't rely on deadly force. Megan Woods was at the update this afternoon at DPD headquarters. Uh, Megan, this of course comes following two very high profile deadly police shootings. That's right. One was back in October, another just last month. But DPD is saying that they had uh, getting these lethal, non lethal weapons in the works way before that. And they're hoping that this can really make a difference. For instance, if someone had a knife or someone had a, a, a bat or something like that out there in the street, we're able to resolve that situation without having to use deadly force. Detroit Police Assistant Chief Eric Ewing says each one of these new weapons meets a unique need they see out in the field. We always want to go out and try to resolve these issues as peacefully as we can. These tools that you see on this table will give us the opportunity to do that. The pepper ball launcher helps with distance. I think the, the range up to the pepper ball is up to 100 feet. Uh, we could fire that uh, projectile out and it would emit a 12 foot cloud and try to uh, and, and get the individual to succumb to some of that mist, right? So we can get those individuals into custody. This one launches foam rounds that will have more impact and have a range of 15 to 50 feet. You would utilize that to get an individual to comply with, with orders of an, an officer if the individual had some type of weapon in his hand other than a, a gun that could fire a projectile back at us. Then there's new body cameras. It's more than just an upgrade of resolution. The camera will now upload straight to the cloud. That's not all. Our current system, the, uh, the, the battery and the camera are one. Therefore, if your battery dies, you have to remove the camera and you have to get a brand new camera. You can't switch out the battery. Uh, this one allows you to switch out the batteries. Before this, body cameras were only worn for patrol related functions, but because of these new body cameras, every officer will have one and the officers are trained on these new weapons. So uh, DPD says they hope that they can start using them immediately. And it's important to note this does not replace any other weapons like a taser or anything else. This is in addition to live in Detroit. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. OK, Megan. Our other top story here at 5 o'clock, an off-duty Detroit police officer targeted in an apparent road rage shooting. This all happened right around 10 this morning on Larchmont Street. It's not far from I-96 in Tyreman. Victor Williams is live for us on this story. Victor, nobody was hit, right? Yes, that is the best news, but things got very intense out here. And as you can see, things are back to normal. But thankfully, like you just said, no one was hurt. Brotherhood and whatever goes on, someone's going to come to the rescue. That's exactly what happened for one off duty police officer after shots were allegedly fired at her car near Livernois and Davison. Nearly a dozen officers came to her aid after she was finally able to make it to a safe space to call 911 near Scott in 96. Karen Evans saw the aftermath of the situation. It wasn't until my neighbors start calling my son who lives on the block and they start calling the neighbors saying, you know, call your mom and see what's going on. But other than that, I, you know, I, I don't hear anything. I really don't know until I look out the window. Officers spent hours in both locations blocking traffic to look for any evidence that could help point the finger at who pulled the trigger. The Jeep the officer was driving also examined for evidence while the driver is still believed to be on the loose. Karen is just glad this didn't end in the worst case scenario. The fact that there's nobody out in front and there's no coroner's wagon, you know, I'm just staying prayerful that whatever the situation is, it can be resolved. And police say they're also looking at green light footage to see if some of that footage can shed some light on what happened here. Victor Williams. Yeah. Okay, Victor, thank you. Well, the sister of Novi's Paul Whelan met virtually today with members of the Biden administration. First, Paul Whelan serving 16 years in a Russian prison on spying accusations. He was not part of last week's prisoner swap when the U.S. secured the release of WNBA star Brittany Griner in exchange for a Russian arms dealer. Elizabeth Whelan says she spent 
45 minutes talking with State Department and national security officials about her brother's case and presenting some ideas on how to get him home. The meeting was requested by the administration. Gasoline prices continue to drop in Metro Detroit. You'll pay about three ten per gallon today to fill up. That's 19 cents less than this time last week. The statewide average is down 85 cents in the last month. More supply and less demand is pushing prices lower. Coming up at six, what experts predict will happen to the prices in the near future. Whoa, what a win. Lions fans riding high on a Monday after the team logged its fifth win in six <laughs> games, keeping playoff hopes alive. Yeah, well, we're definitely seeing a lot more smiles. Baby, around it us. was. <laughs> Bernie, you and I, we were both there, and the house was a rockin', man. Was it? So, you know, that, that's great, and that's wonderful, but you have to keep that rockin' going and yes. take it on the road yep. this week. Yep. But the one thing everyone has noticed about this Lions team is they don't fold at the end. They don't fold at the end. <laughs> I swear they don't fold at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be their calling card, but not anymore. It was interesting after the game that Dan Campbell said his team feels they can play with anyone. And that's another sign that the culture yeah. has done a 180. Now, we've got highlights, and Jared Goff was terrific. They were off to a great start as Jamison Williams made his first NFL catch, a 40-yard touchdown. Just more firepower for Alliance offense that has been very good for most of this season. Hi. You'll remember the Lions were one and six headed for the exits earlier this year. Now six and seven in the fight for a playoff spot. Again, another sign of a culture change. Standing by live with more on the Lions' hopes of making it to the promised land is Jamie Edmonds. Hi, Jamie. Hey there, Bernie. No, they are not folding. In fact, this has been super fun. It's another victory Monday in Detroit. The Lions still in the playoff hunt, and it has fans all over town asking, what if? It's still a big if when it comes to the Lions in the postseason, but at this stage, to still have a shot, that's a big turnaround from where the Lions started. Jim Costa of 97 won the ticket says these Lions are for real, and it's okay to believe. You shut down Aaron Rodgers, and people thought maybe that's a fluke. You followed up the very next week with a shutdown. You blow out the Giants, who are at the time a playoff team. You go and, and beat down a Minnesota Vikings team to cement it, a 10 and 2 Minnesota team. This is real. With four games to go, some sites have the Lions' chances to make the postseason set at 20%. Others a little more or a little less. What we know, winning their last four games puts them in a good position. If it's not an accident that they've won five of the last six, it's not out of the question that they go win the next four. There's still a game and a half back of the Commanders and Giants, plus the Seahawks have one more win and the tiebreaker. But who's to say those teams don't falter down the stretch? Meanwhile, the Lions are playing with a ton of confidence. Dan Campbell says that you guys can beat any team. Do you believe that? I mean, I think we definitely can. And I mean, we got to play with that confidence. And, you know, I think, you know, we're just we're just firing on all cylinders. I know I've said that a couple times. Not the same old Lions. Not the same old Lions. <laughs> They're very clear. This is not the same old Lions. Taylor Decker said something similar in the locker room here yesterday that this is the best he's ever felt as a Lion. By the way, Jim Costa believes that the Lions will make the playoffs. Where's Steve Garagiola, Bernie, when you need him with that Kool-Aid and the pitcher? I Steve feel Gar like people are drinking it. <laughs> That's what I, th I think the problem with Steve Garagiola. That's why this is all happened. <laughs> Boom, oh, he's gone, wow. and here are the Lions. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, oh, Stevie. That's great. That's funny. All right, Jamie, next week in New York against the Jets at the Meadowlands, well, 1 o'clock. So. Outdoors. Yeah. It could, we can have, you know. Well, you can do anything. The weather can be all these things. I thought the best thing I heard was uh, Campbell saying after the game, everybody believes they can beat any team in the league. So that's the first thing of yeah. flipping. Because if yeah. you have a team that walks out there, doesn't think they can win, yeah. they can't win. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wanted to know where I can fill out an application to get on the bandwagon. Oh, I thought you want an application mm -hmm. to find Steve Garagiola. <laughs> that would be a long list. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stevie. Bernie, we will talk to yeah. you a little bit okay. later in sports. Thank you. Your application will be considered. Let's just put it that way. Uh, take a look at live pictures right now. No, everybody ought to be getting on board and enjoying this. It's great fun. Uh, this is not as fun. Somewhere underneath what you're seeing there is Dickinson, North Dakota, getting hit hard by a major winter storm that has already left a huge mark in other parts of the country. Yeah, lucky for us, we don't yeah. have anything like that headed our way. But Paul does have uh, some potential trouble maybe midweek, right, Paul?
Yeah, we do have big changes coming our way, but once again, we're going to miss the big snow. That's been the pattern this fall, and you may recall last winter started the same way. So we're going to kind of watch that, but right now we still have the clouds, but clouds aren't leaking. I mean, the roads are dry. The wind is light. It's been great shopping weather through the weekend, and that continues today. That will continue tomorrow, and then we start uh, to ch change things. All right, most of us are in the mid-30s right now. Port Huron, you've dropped now to 32. That's an even freezing, and you can see that the wind is very light right now, even dead calm in Howell, so we're not even talking about wind chill for crying out loud. It's great weather to get out and shop till you drop. All right, here's the satellite imagery. Uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there's a lot of cloud cover around. It's pretty much blanketing the area. The good news is that tomorrow we should start to see at least some breakup of the cloud cover. It's not going to be a massive you know, open sky, blue sky type of day, I don't expect, but we should at least get partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. But this evening, though, we're going to keep it dry, but the clouds hanging tough, very slow drop through the 30s. But notice temperatures. When you have a big change in temperature, you know that there's going to be a big change in the uh, accompanying weather. Notice we bump up to the 40s, even to near 50, perhaps, Wednesday night, early Thursday. Then comes the drop, and it's right in here that we get the big change. I'll break that all down for you coming up in just a little bit. But don't forget, the 401 Weather app is the nation's best weather app. It has everything you need, and in fact, you'll need it this Wednesday night and Thursday. Big slug of rain coming in. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, but the App Store is the place to go. It's free. Just search on WDIV, guys. All right.